Hey guys, I'm so panicking about being this not being in focus because my last video wasn't quite in focus so I don't know, I'm just really stressing about not being in focus. I keep trying to check because the camera's so far away I can't completely tell so I'm getting a little bit frustrated. Anyway, today I'm going to be filming a Mac haul for you all. Um, I brought some things off of Secret Sales when they had like a Mac sale. I mentioned this in my vlog. If you don't find my vlog channel, I'll leave it down below for you all. Um, I vlog quite a lot on there and on one of my vlogs, I mentioned that on Secret Sales, they were selling Mac at really, really discounted prices. So some of the things were like 40% off. So I had to make an order. I brought quite a lot of things. I've got three lip liners, four lipsticks and a blusher. So I thought I would show you all the things in this video and show you kind of what I've got, what I brought. And yeah, I haven't even tried any of these things out yet. I've only tried two of the things, one lipstick and one lip liner. I've got one of them on now and that is completely it. So I just thought I'd show them in this video. I'm actually really hot as well and I'm never hot in this house. I'm just really confused as to why I'm so hot. Anyway, I'm gonna start with the lip liners. First thing we've got here is the one I've got on. Um, they have got these like horrible stickers on them just in case you ever did think about buying something for secret sales just to let you know um this is the cream stick liner or creme stick liner in pink tree this is the one i've got on now um i much prefer this formula of lip liner to the whatever formula mac whirl is mac whirl is like just a pencil that you have to sharpen this is kind of retractable and i really like the formula of these i said before that i don't like the formula of mac whirl not specifically that but just those lip liners um, and so I was a bit concerned that I'd bought three lip liners but this one is really really nice, it's quite creamy, it's nice, it goes on nice on the lips, it's not hard and waxy which is, that was what I found worlds like. Um, I really really like this, I will do up and close swatches and things so you can see them. Um, but I really like this, so what I've got on now is quite dark in comparison to what it looks like in the tube. Um, it's definitely not the same colour as the end of this whatever you call it, pencil, um, but yeah, really, really like this, um, I'm going to find out the prices for you in a second so I can tell you what they were. So this lip liner was £9. The next lip liner I've got is Sublime Culture. Now, I've heard of people talk about this um, kind of on YouTube and on blogs and stuff, and it really reminds me of the number seven lip liner that I really, really like in the colour Nude, and I'm pretty sure the point was is that it was a dupe for that, like as in the number seven one was a dupe for this. Um, and again, this is a cream stick liner. I really like the shade of this. It's just a really nice nude colour. Um, it frustrates me that I don't swatch them because I'm used to doing that. I'm like, no, let's do it up and close and make them all look professional. Um, but yeah, I really, really like the colour of this. I think it's really nice. The way I used to use the number seven one, I used to put it all over my lips, just like a lip, like like a lipstick. Um, I used to serve rage and I used to put a tiny little bit of Dior lip maximizer just in the middle of my two lips and it just used to make everything look really nice it was a really nice lip lip look so i'm really excited to use this and use it similar to how i use the number seven one because being that the number seven one has not been fun i um just have been meaning to pick it up for so long but i just never go near number seven so i just never pick it up the last lip liner i got is in port side this one is a little bit darker um it's more of like a darker brown with a little bit of berry in there um i really like this one as well it's the same formula again i don't know if it's because they're discontinuing these I don't think they are because the lipsticks I've got are like some of the most famous ones from MAC. Um, so, but yeah, really, really like the shade of this as well. It's very different to anything I've got. I haven't got anything in this kind of like dark brown shade. Uh, really, really like it though. I think it would be really nice on the lips. haven't tried it yet. Um, neither have I tried the Sublime Culture one, but I just think that one would just look nice. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited to, excited to try this one, but I don't think it would be an everyday shade. It would be more of like a evening-y type thing. I think it would be really nice if you go out for drinks, you want to look quite classy. I think that's what that lip liner will kind of go for. I never use lip liners for their actual purpose though. I always use them for like just putting all over my lips and like an actual lipstick. Nice hair flick there that I just did. By the way, I'm pretty sure all of those lip liners were nine pounds. So I'll just double check. Yeah, all of those lip liners were nine pounds. Next thing I've got here is MAC Rebel Lipstick. I ordered this on a separate order because when I was on there first, it wasn't actually in stock and then they got it back in stock. So I was like, I'm just gonna order it. Um, I have wanted this for quite a long time. Um, I really, really like MAC Diva lipstick. Um, I have this. This is a satin formula, by the way. I have MAC Diva. I use it quite a lot. Um, it's a really nice, it's very different to this. It's a really nice, ready, purpley colour. It's just really nice for like nights out and wearing like a nice lip. This one's a lot more purple. It's a dark, vampy purple. And I don't have a shade that's very similar to this. Um, they just, I don't know, it just looks great. Um, and I just really like my lipsticks when they look perfect like this and they don't look like they've been used or because they haven't. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to get Rebel. So that was on a different order and I'm pretty sure that was £9 as well. The next lipstick I've got here is one that I've actually used. It's in the shade Mocha um, and this is a satin lipstick as well. Satin formulas are my favourite from 
black, I think. I used to really like luster formulas when I was younger, um, but I think they were like glossy and like just nice on the lips. Whereas now, I much prefer a satin formula that stays on my lips, just stays on for quite a long time, but it's not too matte. Um, so this is in Mocha, it's a lovely shade, it's a brown nude, looks nice, it's dark, it's just like a darker nude, I really, really like this, I used it like a couple of days ago, it wore nicely, it felt nice on the lips, like the colour was just lovely, really like this, again, this was, nine, no, not £9, £12, so still cheaper than what you'd get in MAC, um, but yeah, absolutely love that one. Then the next one I got here is one I've actually never heard of and I was kind of like flicking through and I just thought oh that one looks quite nice, I looked at swatches I was like yeah that looks really nice. This is Viva Glam 3, um, this is a matte lipstick. This is a bit, this is yeah, Viva Glam 3. I have got Viva Glam 5, um, and I really like that one. It's like a nude, it's a luster finish, it's got a little bit of glitter in there, it's slightly goldy, it's quite different and a nice nude. This one is not a nude in the slightest, these are all dark shades. It's a very nice brownie red, I would describe this as. I really, really like this. I'm gonna do like a tiny swatch on my hand. It's just really nice. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but it's just a really nice shade it's kind of like a bit of berry a bit of brown a bit of red and it's just i feel like it's gonna be a really nice different shade and that's what i like about mac i think that's the reason why people go to mac they're different they do different shades to everybody else there's something you'll find in there that maybe you won't find elsewhere um and yeah really, really like this and i like the whole thing about viva glam that some of the profits profits go to charity um and i'm pretty sure yeah that one was 12 pounds too i'm guessing the lipstick's all 12 pounds um and this one is a satin lipstick and this is twig um, I have heard many people talk about Twig, um, and this, oh, felt quite hard to get off, is pretty similar to a lot of other shades that I've got, but I love shades like this, it's just what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis, and I like having different options. Uh, what, did I say this was satin? Yeah, this is satin. Uh, really, really nice shade, it's kind of like more of a pinky brown nude. Oh, it's just so nice. Oh, I love my lipsticks, I do, it's that one there. Um, I just really, really like them. I just, I love shades like this, absolutely love them, they're my favourites. This is slightly darker as well than what I expected it to be, but it's really nice this time of year, they're just perfect. Um, really happy with all the ones that I've got, they're just so nice. Um, and then I've got one blusher, which is this one, it's a sheer tone blush, um, it's in the shade Blush Baby. I've got it on now, it's nice and neutral, and this is why I wanted to get this one. They had quite a few, like, shimmery ones, and ones that were a bit more, kind of like, out there and um, they had a couple that I'd already got um so I was like oh, okay I won't put them on because it wasn't everything was on there I am pretty sure Mac is still on secret sales I think they've put it on again so I'm gonna leave the link down below if it is because if it is you need to go over and order stuff because it is amazing I've got so much stuff here um so here is blush baby and this is what it looks like it's a really nice neutral colour I think I said it's a sheer tone blush I have one of these and that is in What's it in? Oh, what is that colour? I've got another one of these in a different colour and I can't for the life of me remember what it is. But this is just a really nice neutral shade. It's slight, slightly pinky, slightly brown, easy to wear. Um, and if you didn't know, these are completely matte. Easy to wear, kind of with a bright lip, a dark lip, something that's going to, you know, you want something quite neutral on the cheeks. And I just really like this, really, really like it add to my collection of MAC blushes because I have quite a lot. So that is everything I have to show you today. I hope you've liked seeing all the little MAC bits that I got. I haven't done a MAC haul in years because it's quite difficult to go and spend that much money on MAC without any kind of discount. Um, so I'm so glad that I was able to get this stuff off Secret Sales. I'm not sponsored by Secret Sales. They didn't send me it. I literally just saw it and I thought this is absolutely amazing. Um, and my dad's business has actually been on Secret Sales before so I knew that it was kind of like legit. They don't kind of like cut corners. Um, whereas a lot of you have kind of tweeted me and been like, are you sure this is real and I was like yeah 100% all of this is definitely real um so yeah really 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 happy with all the things I've got if you can't already tell so thank you very much for watching guys and spending the rest of my day filming videos for you so I hope you like all the ones that I'm going to film please subscribe if you haven't already the button is just down below and I will speak to you very very soon bye